very good morning to all i am s emmanuel assistant professor pg and research department of chemistry st joseph's college kadalu today we are going to discuss about the classification of polymer based on mode of polymerization already we have discussed the classifications of polymer based on structure and source and origin now we are going to talk about the classifications of polymer based on the mode of polymerization types of polymerization polymerization reactions may be carried out by any one of the following method so we can go to the reaction in polymerization that reaction carried out only the any one of the following method that is additional or chain growth polymerization condensation or stepwise polymerization third one copolymerization so the polymerization reaction carried out by any one of the following method additional condensation copolymerization what is additional or chain growth polymerization in first point it is a reaction that yields a polymer which is an extract the multiple of the original monomeric molecule the original monomeric molecule usually contains one or more double bond will be present in this additional polymerization there is no elimination of any molecule in simply we are discuss the additional polymerization is the monomer unit converted into the polymerization reaction the big polymer will be formed in this reaction no elimination will be possible in this reaction so this is called as additional polymerization or chain growth polymerization example polyethylene is produced from ethylene monomer in this additional polymerization reaction the n moles of ethylene monomer unit is reacted with heat and pressure using catalyst the polyethylene product will be formed in this reaction with any any molecule or water molecule small molecules not elimination so in additional polymerization without any elimination of monomer in converted to polymerization reaction that is called as additional polymerization example is polyethylene the n number of ethylene monomer is converted to polyethylene no by product or no elimination occur in this reaction that is called as additional polymerization in another example pvc is produced from vinyl chloride monomer the n number of vinyl chloride monomer is converted to polymerization reaction the polyvinyl chloride will be formed in this reaction we can use catalyst at the same time heat and pressure will be applied the pvc product will be formed in this reactions also no elimination occur in this process so the additional polymerizations means the monomer converted to polymer without elimination this is occur that is called as additional polymerization for example polyethylene pvc and etc next one condensation or stepwise polymerization the definition it is a reaction between simple polar groups containing monomers with the formation of polymer and elimination of small molecules like water hcl and etc so in condensation polymerization reaction the monomer converted to polymer with elimination of some small molecules like water hcl and etc this is called as condensation or stepwise polymerization example a nylon 6,6 the example of condensation polymerization the hexamethylene diamine react with tetramethyl dicarboxylic acid or adipic acid the nylon product will be formed in this nylon polymer is generated at the same time the two moles of water will be eliminated 
this is called as condensation polymerization so you can remember the definition of condensation polymerization the monomer converted to polymer at the same time the product will be formed the elimination will be occur in this reaction so you can apply in this nylon 6,6 .6 or polyamide the hexamethylene diamine and tetramethyl dicarboxylic acid or adipic acid is produced from the polymer of nylon 6,6 .6. so this is the condensation polymerization copolymerization third one it is the joint polymerization in which two or more different monomers combine to give you a polymer so the different kinds of monomer present in the formation of polymer that is called as copolymer the high molecular weight polymers obtained by copolymerization are called copolymers so the copolymers are higher molecular weight because the different types of monomer will be present in this reaction so the high molecular weight will be formed the copolymerization is mainly carried out to vary the properties of polymers such as hardness strength rigidity heat resistance and etc so the copolymerization will be defined the hardness of polymer strength of polymer and heat resistance of polymer so the molecular weight will be high the boiling point melting point also high at the same time the polymer density also very high so the monomer weight is very important for the polymerization reaction for example for example the beta diene react with styrene the poly beta diene co styrene will be formed in this reaction the monomer unit is beta diene and styrene so two different kinds of monomer will be entire in the polymerization reaction this is called as copolymerization reaction next one very important the difference between additional or chain polymerization and condensation or step polymerization the first one additional polymerization the monomer must have at least one multiple bond in condensation polymerization the monomer must have two identical different functional group will be present in example of additional polymerization ethylene ch2 double bond ch2 at least one multiple bond will be present in additional polymer in condensation polymer the two identical functional group will be present so you can example for glycol there are two oh functional groups will be present so this is the condensation polymerization example in second one acetylene ch triple bond ch this is the additional polymerization because in additional polymerization must have at least one multiple bond in condensation polymerization the six amino hexanic acid is the example for condensation polymerization you need second point the monomers add on to give you a polymer and no other by product is formed this is the additional polymerization in this polymerization reaction no by product will be formed that is called as additional polymerization in condensation the monomer contents to give you a polymer and by products such as h2o methoxide are formed so in condensation polymerization the elimination will be occur in this reaction in additional the without elimination is possible in this reaction this is the two major difference between additional and condensation polymerization in third one number of monomeric units decreases steadily throughout the reaction in additional polymer in condensation the monomers disappear at the early stage of reaction in fourth point molecular weight of the polymer is an integral is multiple of molecular weight of monomer in condensation polymerization molecular weight of the polymer need not be an integral multiple of monomer so in additional polymer we are calculate the molecular weight from monomer unit just you can calculate the whole of the molecular weight in condensation need not to be apply this same identity of the polymerization mass 
In fifth one, high molecular weight polymer is formed at once. In molecular weight of the polymer rises steadily throughout the reaction. Sixth one, longer reaction times give higher yield, but have a little effect on molecular weight. In condensation polymerization, longer reactions times are essential to obtain the high molecular weight. Seventh one, the additional polymers are thermoplastics are produced. For example, polyethylene (PVC). In condensation polymerization reaction, thermosetting plastics are produced: backlight, urea, formaldehyde. In eighth one, the homochain polymer is obtained in additional polymer. Heterochain polymer is obtained in condensation polymer. The homochain polymer means the same kinds of monomer will be present in the polymer chain. That is called as homochain. Heterochain means the different kinds of monomer present in the carbon backbone. That is called as condensation polymerization. Just I recall the topic. The types of polymerization. The polymerization reaction may be carried out by any one of the following method. First one additional condensation copolymerization. In additional polymerization. The monomer converted to polymerization reaction, the polymer product will be formed. Without elimination, will be possible in this reaction. Like small molecules, water and HCl, is not no byproduct will be formed in additional polymer. In condensation or stepwise polymerization, the monomer converted to polymerization reaction, the polymer product will be formed. At the same time, the small molecules, water. HCl will be eliminated. This is the byproduct of the polymerization reaction. But additional polymer without elimination in condensation with elimination. For example, hexamethylene diamine react with tetramethylene dicarboxylic acid. The two moles of water molecules will be eliminated. The polymer 6,6 nylon will be formed. In this nylon condensation polymerization reaction. At the same time, the water molecules are also eliminated. This is the difference between additional and condensation polymerization. In copolymerization, very simple, the monomer converted to polymer. In this reaction, the different kinds of monomer, different types of monomer, go to polymerization reaction. The big higher molecular weight polymer will be produced. So this is called as copolymerization reaction. Polyethylene. This is the additional polymerization example. CH2 double bond CH2 ethylene monomer. N, mon N type of ethylene monomer react with the catalyst. In heat and pressure will be applied. The polyethylene product will be formed. This is the additional polymerization. In this reaction, no byproduct or no elimination will be occur. In condensation polymerization. Example, the hexamethylene diamine and adipic acid condense to form a polymer of nylon 6,6. .6. The hexamethylene diamine adipic acid react with the nylon 6,6 .6 product will be formed. At the same time, the additional polymers are thermoplastic. Thermoplastic means um, you can heat on, soften, cool on, harden. That is called as additional polymerization. The additional polymers are thermoplastics. In condensation polymerization reaction, you can use the thermosetting polymer, thermosetting plastics. You can heat, the plastic will be hardened. Again, you can heat, the polymer will be hard more. This is the thermosetting polymer. So, in this topic, the additional condensation. At the same time, copolymerization. Both are very important in polymer product. At the same time, the additional polymerization, condensation polymerization, also the example for thermoplastic and thermosetting plastic. So, you have any doubt, please.
थैंक यू